Dr. Willis? I must have certain undertakings. Authority over the patient, access to him at all times. You will reside here at Windsor. And Parliament will have to be kept informed, so you will need to write bulletins. They must be confident, optimistic. The survival of the government depends upon it. And Dr. Willis, you are my doctor. Do you understand? I'm the King's doctor, sir. It is the same thing. The state of monarchy and the state of lunacy share a frontier. Mm. Some of my lunatics fancy themselves kings. <laughs> he is the king. Where shall his fancy take refuge? We do not use the word lunatic, sir, in relation to his majesty. Well, who's to say what's normal in a king? Hmm? Deferred to, agreed with, acquiesced in. Who, who can flourish on such a daily diet of compliance? To be curbed, stood up to, in a word, thwarted, exercises the character, elasticates the spirit, makes it more pliant. It's the want of such exercise that makes rulers rigid. Stop, stop, the king, the king! This is the king, sir. Oh, my, I must cure. Now you are following as straight as a ruler. Straight as a ruler. Straight as a ruler done by a ruler. And another beside that, and another beside that, until you had as pretty a plough field as you'd find this side of side and such. Put us out of our kingdom tomorrow. We would not... I have a farm. Our king of tomorrow would not want for employment. Give me management of 50 acres, plowing and sowing and harvesting. I could do it, make me a handsome profit into the bargain. I said, I have a farm, Your Majesty. <clears throat> this gentleman, sir, has made the illness under which Your Majesty labors his special studies. A mad doctor, is it? I'm not mad, just nervous. I shall endeavor to alleviate some of the inconveniences from which Your Majesty suffers. Inconveniences? Insults! Assaults! Insults besides rubbed into these wounds. Look! By your dress, sir, and general demeanor, I'd say you were a minister of God. Oh, that's true, Your Majesty. I was once in the service of the church. Now I practice medicine. Well, I'm sorry for it. You've quitted a profession I've always loved and embraced one I most heartily detest. Our saviour went about healing the sick. Yes, but he had not 700 pounds a year for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad for a madman. I have a hospital in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire? Yes, I know Lincolnshire. Fine sheep there. Admirable sheep. Pigs, too. But I know of no hospitals. My patients work, sir. They till the soil. <laughs> Cultivate. And in so doing, they acquire a better conceit of themselves. When I'm king of England, a man can have no better conceit of himself than that. <laughs> sir. Hmm. But 
by God, I'm bolder. Shut up. Shut up. Look at me, I'm not one of your farmers! You must behave or endeavor to do so. Must! Must! Whose must is this? Your must or my must? Get away from me, you scabby bum sucker. <laughs> Link at your lick fingers! Clean your tongue, sir. Clean your tongue. I will not. I'll be a guest in the graveyard first. Very well. If your majesty will not behave, you must be restrained. felons were induced to talk. They were shown first the instruments of their torture. The king is shown the instrument of his to induce him not to talk. throws off his bedclothes, tears away his bandages, scratches as he sores, and if he does not strive every day and always towards his own recovery, then he must be restrained. I am the king of England, no, sir! You are the patient! 